Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is our last day here in Poland. This is day eight. And I know it's our last day because we only have $14 left. That gives us like $8 for a hostel for tonight and $6 for food. Do you guys wanna go see what $6 can get us for a meal in Poland? Let's go eat like a king. It is 6.30 in the morning right now. Uh, I've been up for the past like five hours. I got some pretty bad news last night, but that's a totally different story for a different video. Um, I've been spending the past hours just walking around out in the middle of nowhere, planning how much I need to be spending, what my income's gonna be, doing lots of like uh, logistics planning. But I'm gonna go head back to the hostel right now and pick up my stuff. You guys might find this interesting, but this is the first Tesla I have seen in my entire time here. Whereas if you go to some place like Los Angeles or uh, Silicon Valley, they are everywhere. This is seriously the first one I've seen in my entire time. There we go. Before I check out of the hostel, I want to charge up as many devices as I can. So you can see I've got my phone charging right here with my headphones, I've got my extra battery pack, I've got my camera batteries, I've got my laptop, my tablet, I've got extra phones charging right here. I need to do all of this in case I don't get access to an outlet later. I do want to show you guys something really cool though. See my headphones right here? See my phone? If I ever need to charge both of them at the same time but I've only got one cable, it can be difficult. But my phone has this really cool feature where it can use its key charging pad to charge other things. So I can just set my headphones right there and I can charge both of them at the same time. Look at this, like I only need one cable to be able to do that. While my devices are charging in there, I'm going to sit here and I'm gonna do some research while I still have the Wi-Fi from the hostel. The first thing that I need to figure out is where I'm going to be staying. I know that I wanna to go to Ukraine, but I'm not sure where, if I wanna to go to a big city or if I wanna to go to a town. So I'm gonna do some research. Then once I know where I wanna go, I'm gonna get a train ticket. Then I'm gonna look into hostel prices. That way I can better plan how much things are gonna cost. Kiev is the first place that I was thinking about going, but it looks like it'll be almost 20 hours to get there from here. That doesn't sound very good. It looks like this country, Slovakia, is pretty close to me uh, here. So I could come down there pretty quick, but I'm not sure how much this costs. So one of the things that I use to find out how expensive a country is, is I look out how much hotels cost. So looking at hotels and uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but the Slovakia place, we can see that they're going for 40, 59, 73, 77, 80. Uh, but the typical hotel in Poland where I'm at is about $30 a night. So this is almost twice as expensive as where I'm at right now. So Slovakia is out. But if we take a look at this, if we zoom in on the map in Ukraine, there's a town right here called Lviv. That's directly en route to me. So I could probably head there. Let's see how much uh, hotels cost here. This is what we're talking about. In Lviv, you can get hostels for $5 a night. There's a bunch of hostels here, but if we scroll down, the first actual hotel is first actual hotel is $21 a night. That is, that's actually cheaper than where I'm at right now. So we're gonna go to Lviv, Ukraine. But while we are on this website, can I complain to you guys for a second? Look at this, look at, this is ridiculous. When you're going to sort things, you can sort by feature, star rating, distance, whatever. But you're also able to sort by high to low. Who in the world thought that it's a good idea to be able to sort things by the most expensive? Who is going through here looking for the most expensive hotel just because like this feature should just not exist. It should only be this one. I was actually able to find a really cheap flight up there. It only cost 80 zloty, which is approximately $45. I'm not gonna count that in the cost because going to Kiev is actually part of living in Poland. Sorry you guys had to sit there and watch that. I'm sure watching me click buttons on a screen for two minutes straight isn't the most fun, but it's necessary. You have to plan these things out. You have to know where you're gonna go and you have to know how you're gonna get there. Breakfast today was $5.32. We got four rolls. We got two more of these pizza things. I got some uh, vanilla wafers and apple, yogurt. I got meat slices and cheese for sandwiches. $5.32. That means you guys get to watch me eat food again. Look at this thing, look at this thing. Mmm, fucking great. Oh no, I got these. I thought they were vanilla. I hope they're not coconut. Let's find out. It's coconut, damn it. Do you guys want a little behind the scenes as to how I edit these videos out here in the middle of a bike path? What I will do is I will come in here and I will pull out my tablet. You might think that I do all my editing on my laptop because it's big and powerful and has Adobe Premiere on it. But no, I use the Samsung tablet right here because my phone 
that I'm filming this on is also a Samsung device. And they have special software that makes it where you can share files between these incredibly fast. So I do all of my filming on my phone and I just zip them over here, pop them into a timeline, and it's much easier than trying to use USB-C cables and connect it to a laptop. Now that we have completely spent the $100 that we set out with at the start of the series, I think it's fair that we throw some numbers on this bad boy and rank Poland in the national leaderboard of affordability for the excessively frugal. This is day eight in Poland, which means that after tonight we would have spent eight days and eight nights with only $100. Now, you might think that that would put Poland at the top of the leaderboard, mostly because this is the only country we've done this with so far. But you would be wrong. Because about two years ago, I actually went to Thailand and I did the same exact thing. You can see the video on my channel right now. I would recommend you don't watch it because it's like 15 minutes long of just bad edits. But I lasted for 14 days in Thailand. So Thailand has the number one spot, Poland has number two, averaging $12.50 per day. <laughs> People keep telling me that they want to see me date. They want to know what it's like to try to date when you're only living on $100. <laughs> like that would be a challenge for somebody that was like normal size, but I'm the size of a child. So I don't think you're going to be seeing that here on this YouTube channel. So I learned something really interesting yesterday. Do you guys know at the end of a YouTube video, those title cards that show up that show you like you can click on this video to go to that one, or you can click here to go to that. I th this entire time I thought those were automatically generated by YouTube, but no, I get to control those. So I set this up so that if you click this one right here, you can go to the previous day. And if you click this one right here, you can go to the next day. So you can just like scrub back and forth across which day you want to go to.